Gentlemen, welcome to the shop. Uh, so, I got a honeydew, and uh, I wanted to go over it with you guys. So, well, if you grew up without a father figure to show you this kind of stuff, or uh, maybe you're just a little too feminine, um, and you need to learn some manly skills, well, we're gonna learn how to hang a picture frame. So, this picture frame came without any hooks. So the only way you can hang it is kind of like on a nail on this ledge right here. See? Yeah, that, that's it. Right there. And, uh, uh, well, that's not going to do for the wife. So I'm going to show you how to put uh, one of the sawtooth hangers on the back. So follow along with me here while I do this. This is one of the sawtooth hangers. As you can see, it has like a sawtooth. So your nail would actually Go on there. So what you first need to do is you need to take and measure your picture frame. One of the one of the best tools that you could get right now is a tape measure. It's one of the it's one of the tools that every homesteader is going to need on their homestead when they're building it, when they're doing odd projects, doing you know fixing stuff that may be broken. Having a good quality tape measure, it will save your life. First, we're going to measure our picture frame and find out how wide it is. It is one foot wide. So we need to mark where the center point is at. Center point is right here. So we're going to mark that with a marker. Any marker will work, even a black marker. On a black surface with mark will work. See, you can kind of see it there, right? Okay. So now that we know where the center is at, we're going to take one of our sawtooth hangers and we're going to take and place it right on that center mark where we want the nail to hang. And then we're going to make Two more marks, one right here where this hole is at, and one right here where this hole is at. All right. So now we got our two marks, one right there, one right there. Center mark, that's just our guide. Then we're going to take and drill. So our hanging kit, our sawtooth hanger kit, came with some screws. All right. So what we need to do is we need to select a drill bit that is appropriately sized for that screw. Bingo. That's our that's our drill bit. Okay, so now that we got our properly sized drill bit for the, the width of the screw, we now need to mark how deep we need to go. So, if we, so we don't want to go any deeper than the screw needs to go. If we go any deeper, we run the risk of uh, going through the front of the frame. So I'm just going to hold a little mark I want to just hold it right there. That's it. With my thumbnail, that's exactly how deep we want to go. And now, I want to take a bit of masking tape. We'll take a bit of masking tape and we're going to wrap around our drill bit. That's as deep as I want to go. We're going to put it in our drill. We're going to find our mark. There 
Korea. There we go. All right, so each screw has a unique head on the end of it. So this one has a Phillips bit head. It has like a little cross section. So you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. Some of us don't know this. However, you all are gonna be in the know about this. Most screwdrivers have a number on them. This one is a P2. P2. Let me see here. Move my thumb over it. So that's the size of the bit. It's a two, a number two. Okay. Uh, number one is a bigger tip of the bit. So you want to make sure to have a properly sized screwdriver tip for your screw. So now you take your sawtooth hanger. Set on top there, and you start your screw. And then again, put your other screw in there. And screw it in. There you go. And as you can see, there you go. The nail head goes right into that sawtooth and holds steady. You notice we didn't go through the front either. The reason why, the reason why you pre-drill those holes is because if you do not, you run the risk of the screw actually causing the wood to splinter out. Uh, if it splinters out, you've ruined your frame, of course. So that's why you want to make sure uh, to pre-drill your wood frames before uh, attempting to screw the hanger to the frame. That, my friends, is how you properly install a sawtooth hanger for your picture frames. Hey, take a moment, please like this video if you learned anything from this. Subscribe and ring that notification bell because, you know, it, it does help the algorithm, you know. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching and uh, God bless.